Hi, I'm Peter Tempeloff from the Greenhouse, and today I'll be cooking for you a stuffed cabillo filled with langoustines for food24.com. Thanks. We're going to start with the risotto. We're going to start with a bit of extra virgin olive oil first, which have been finely diced. We're going to sweat the onions off till they're just translucent and soft. So while they're cooking away, I'm going to get the sauce going. We're going to be doing a champagne velouté today. So in goes the butter into the pan, followed by sliced onions. And we're going to cook them till they're nice and soft, no color on them. Okay, so a little bit of melt and salt to both the onions. Okay, now onions are good for the risotto. We're going to add the rice. So in this case, I'm going to add two portions of rice. We're going to coat the rice with the olive oil and the onions for about 30 seconds. Now at this stage for the risotto, we're going to add the wine. It's about 100 mils of wine. So now we're going to burn the wine all the way down on high heat. So for our, our scallop mousse, we're going to add the scallops to the blender. They've been defrosted and dried out, so not too wet. Adding about 150, 160 grams of scallop meat to that. We're going to add one egg yolk to that. A pinch of melden salt. So here we go. All right, so back to our sauce. The sauce is now reduced down by about half. We're gonna add our cream to it, which is about 100 mils. We're gonna bring it to the boil, cook it for about two minutes, pull it off, season it. Okay, so the scallops are nice and pureed, nice and smooth. It's really important when you're making fish mousses that everything is as cold as possible. So we're gonna pop that into the fridge for about half an hour. In the meantime, the langoustines need to be cooked off for the mousse. We're gonna dice them up, pop them into a pan, a warm pan with butter. We're gonna get a pinch of melden salt in there, a couple of leaves of basil. So we're just going to cook them to about a medium rare. So that's about the stage you want it. It's still a little bit translucent like that. For the scallop mousse, it's been chilled down in the fridge, so it's nice and cold, so it's not going to split the cream when we add it. We've got 100 mils of cream here, about 150 mils of scallop. So we're going to add a little bit by a little bit, like a normal fish mousse. Don't want to add it all at once because it's hard to incorporate. The last bit of cream goes in. And then... We're ready to add the langoustines to that. You want the langoustines to be predominant. So we're going to take the mousse and add the mousse to the langoustines as opposed to the other way around. Okay, so for the langoustine scallop mousse, we've got our langoustines which have been cooked off in butter. We're going to add a little bit of the mousse at a time. And we just want enough to bind all the langoustine tails together. The scallop's got a really awesome flavor. You don't want to use too little of it. A little bit of herbs in there. In this case, we've got some chopped up fennel leaf. We're just going to fold the fennel through. And there she is. So the first step of the cobble yo is to get the skin side down to create a little opening for the mousse to go in. Open up this way. Another flap on that side. As you can see, it's a little envelope. We're going to get our scallop mousse filled with langoustines. Stuff it inside here. And we're going to neatly close it up again. Okay, we've got some cling film over here. So on the cling film, a little bit of olive oil, a touch of melden salt. Put the skin side down, take the bottom of the cling film, wrap it over, nice and tight, get all the air out, and then it's ready to go into the water. Okay, now this risotto has dried up nicely. All the wine has evaporated. Now we're going to start adding our fish stock to it. So we're going to go ladle by ladle. This is hot stock. And we're going to start cooking it nice and slowly. For our champagne velouté, we've got our onions. We're adding our white wine to it. Here we have the water, which is at a perfect temperature for adding the cabillo to. You just want to see a bit of steam coming up, no bubbles. You don't want it to boil. And you're going to cook it for about seven, six, seven minutes. There's no air in the bag, so it should sink. If it does tend to pop up a tiny little bit, you can weight it down if they do floats. The champagne sauce is now boiled, and I'm just going to whip through the strainer. And it's quite important to push out all the liquid from the onions, because that retains a lot of flavor in there. OK, so back to the risotto. It's rested now nicely. You bring it back to the heat. We're going to finish it with a touch of mascarpone cheese. Off the heat, we're going to add some Parmesan cheese, some tomato concasse, some herbs, a knob of butter. Just going to heat it up again, not too much. There we go, that's perfect. That's just going to sit there for a minute while we get the fish out the bag and we buzz our sauce. OK, so the fish has been steaming here for about seven or eight minutes. It's looking great. For the champagne velouté, to get the bubbles really aerated and really light so it actually looks like champagne, you've got to add a fair amount of butter to it and just get a stick blender. So just buzz the butter in. See the bubbles form, forming? 
So we're going to pop the cobio out the bag. So cut one end off and just slip it off like that. In the middle of the bowl, we're going to add our tomato herb risotto. On top of the risotto, we're going to add the sauce and around. See how nice and bubbly that is? Place the fish nice and neatly on top there. Add a dollop of caviar and just a sprig of watercress. And there's our finished dish. Cobio stuffed with langoustines and scallops on a tomato herb risotto with a champagne velouté. Thanks.